Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Mitch, or Agent Canadian here, and welcome back to How to Minecraft. Today we've got a pretty fun solo episode planned. As you can see right in front of me here, the entire back section of our sky base has been converted into beautiful grass, and hopefully some mobs will spawn here at some point soon. But if not, that's okay. We'll figure out an alternative to getting them up here. Maybe we'll have to make a giant railway system and launch them all the way up. Hopefully not. Hopefully they'll spawn in eventually. But um, that is not what is planned for today. What we've got in store is I'm going to convert Choco's little uh, water temple, water prison of... Uh... Ooh, Jerome, how are you doing? Oh, uh, very good, Mitch. I got coffee. You do? Yeah. That's perfect. Thank Am I going to be seeing you on How to Minecraft soon? Because, Jerome, I got something for you. Look. Look, I got Wait, the... you made that for me? No, Choco did, but I stole it because he put it on my land. What? I it's want the... it. It's the goods. What? You, you can't just steal it. I borrowed it, alright? It was on my land. Can I steal it? Love Choco. Can I steal it back? Yeah, you can steal it back. I'm setting it up all nice and pretty for you. Can I steal it back? Yeah, it's here for can you. Can I blow up your house? No, please. Oh, that's all. No. <laughs> alright, so nice little uh, guest appearance from Jerome. What I'm going to do is convert Choco's little reward here. Uh, into a cool little lake or uh, a little water water temple of sorts to to honor the prismarine that he's placed there. So let's see what we can do. And I've got some supplies here to do that. I'm going to grab some of my stone bricks. And let's make a couple of staircases. I think that should be the trick right there. 16 should be tons. See if this will look... Oh, not like that. No! It's okay. I got I got all the necessary tools here. <laughs> Do one of those, and how does this work? Is that what I want? No, that is not what I want. This is going to take me a while. I, I guarantee I'm going to be such a new... Oh, no, that was actually pretty easy. No, nope, that... Gosh dang it. I want to make them like like I got it right here. I want to do like that. Like that one. Please work. Yes. All right. See if we can get that to cooperate on... Okay, I get it. I feel you now. I see how it works. All right. Okay, I figured out staircases. You just got to look at the section of the block, like the top or bottom half. That's how you do it. And we made just the right amount. That is perfect. Let's grab the slabs out of this chest as well. And our water bucket so we can fill it up. And let's go ahead and throw a slab here and here. Here and here. And our little uh, water temple is just about finished already. That's a cool little structure to kick this off. And then I do have plans with the rest of this grassy area to start some farms up. Just some basic ones for now. I'd love to do some automated stuff in the future for sure. But uh, as it stands, I don't have the capability to do that. So let's start by, uh, by just doing some of the basics because we really don't have anything yet, which is pretty sad considering we are uh, 20, this is episode 27 of How to Minecraft. I think, I think I'm due. I think I am due a, uh, a couple of farms. Perfect. We've got our still water little thingy here going on. Looks good. Looks really nice if you ask me. And Jerome can access the goods right here. And that should do the trick. It's looking good. <laughs> it's so random, but whatever. I think it's cool. And, and if you don't, well, I don't think you're cool. So I'm going to take the rest of these buckets and toss them back into this chest. I don't need them right now. What I would like to do is uh, get my spade here, my shovel, and decide how I want to set these up. Because I'm going to need to put some irrigation in as well, some water. So let's see. Um, let's go ahead and do water here. How many do we want to do, though? Um, you know, we'll go this far down, leave a couple of blocks in between the wolves, and I think the water stretches, I'm not sure how far, should I, how many should I do? Hmm, I think it's at least three. So we're going to leave a gap of three, come all the way here. I just wanted to make it look nice. So I'm going to do the next one here with a gap of two. I know, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not perfectly symmetrical, but deal with it. Too bad, I'm doing what makes me feel good. And then we'll do three, one, two, three. And we'll do the last line here like that. And we're going to flood these with water so that we can be nicely irrigated and uh, ready to grow some crops. So we're actually going to need to take our buckets, head over to our infinite water stores over here, and scoop up a bunch of the aqua. Give me that. Give me that good stuff. There we go. And let's go ahead and pour it away. Some there, some there, some there. Put the buckets away. Grab the rest of our water. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be perfect. And I think I am short one. I am. So let's go and just refill these buckets again. In case I need some more, I'll just fill them all back up. And there we go. Water away. Perfect. Let's fill up this last one here. kind of want to even it out. I don't like this big gap. So let's drop. Yeah, let's drop in the middle as well. That looks nice. I like this. All right. It's making me feel good about my design. I need to feel a little more <laughs> artistic with my farms. 
That's great. And then I just need to take my hoe here. And I think I can just go crazy on this. Um, how many seeds do I have is the real question. Though. I don't have too many seeds, actually. Let's see. I've got, got a couple of each. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and dig this all up. I hope this gets us some herb lore levels too. That'd be sweet. And we will plant. Uh, let's do some pumpkins. And I think I have to go every other for pumpkins so that there's room to grow. I think that's how they work. And then we'll do... Yep, this does get irrigated by the water. I knew it. Perfect. That's what I like to see. All right. And then over here, we'll do our one lonely watermelon. And let's do right here our 10 um, seeds for some wheat. Some wheat. And I do have some bone meal. So we're going to bone meal this and see how quickly we can grow our farm. Take the bone meal. And bone meal, grow. Give me that melon. How does this work? It only makes it so big. I guess you can't bone meal the whole way. Dang. Take a little bit of a shortcut at least though. It's better than nothing. I have so much bone meal because I have so many bones from killing skeletons. I can grow the wheat all the way though. I know that. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want that. Whoops. One, two, one, two. Oh, that's not bad. It's only two bone meal. It used to cost a lot more for wheat, I think. All right. And then we can bust it up. Beauty. Get some more seeds and replant all these. And how do we get our herb lore level up? Is that just how we do it or do we have to do... I'm trying to figure out how we get herb lore. Do I have to use my, my hoe? I wonder. Or we'll bone meal all this and we'll see. All right, we're out of bone meal. Let's use the hoe. You ready your hoe? Did I get any levels? I want to level up my herb lore, please. I've got some more pumpkin seeds though. Let's plant these guys. There we are. And I still have eight more seeds as well. So why don't we just go ahead and irrigate the lands and uh, put the rest of our seeds in too. There we go. We've got some farms happening. We're making, this is progress, people. This is progress. Big steps, big steps. <laughs> Not really. I, I do want to get some cool automated stuff going down the road, but for now this will have to do. Let's see, where's our bones? I think I saw some there. There's 11. There's a bunch more there. Convert this into bone meal. That is beautiful. And let's go ahead and see if we can Get these crops growing a little faster. Can I really not bone meal this anymore? Why is it not working? Maybe, oh, perfect, it's growing on its own. Yes, I want this melon stock to grow though. I really, really do. I don't really need pumpkins, they're kind of pointless, but the rest of that stuff, I am, I'm all about that life. Can I bust this by jumping on it? Yeah, I can. How do I level up my herb lore though? Huh, you've already used that ability. All right, I'll beat the pumpkin up. Oh, the stocks always are there. Forgot about that, that's awesome. So I can never run out of stocks again. Heck yes. All right, <laughs> might as well go over here and just plant some more pumpkins while I'm at it. Get this all nicely done up. And get some more pumpkins growing in. There we are. Look, another one's ready. Is that the same one? No, it wasn't. Okay, I was about to, I was about to say that's nuts. Couple more pumpkins again, because I can. And... Why not one more here? I don't know if that's even going to work. Whatever. Planting it anyways. Who's going to stop me? Grow the stalks up with just a tad. Tiny little bit. And over here, I'm going to do the same. Get these guys growing. I should really organize this at some point. But for now, I just want to I want to feel accomplished. I just want to get a farm at least standing up on its own. There we go. And the pumpkins are growing. I want that melon already, though. Please, give me the melon slices. And I'm going to store all of my goods here that I don't need. And what I want to do next is actually go ahead and add another layer to this. So I'm going to go and expand this up because I'm going to eventually organize this and have on each layer or each level of the map here a different farm. So at some point I will uh, remove all the pumpkins, remove all the melons and just do wheat here. Or maybe I'll do wheat higher up. I don't know yet. Um, but you get the idea. I'll probably do pumpkins on this level just because this is sort of my walk-in area. And I don't ever plan on needing pumpkins, but it just kind of looks cool. It makes me feel accomplished to have a nice farm of them. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this bottom floor is eventually just have it be full pumpkin so that it looks really cool. When you come out here, you'll see like my wolves, my weird water temple, and a bunch of pumpkins. And then the higher up levels is where I'll put the more, uh, more valuable crops for sure. Um, so I'm going to need to get up here and start placing this stone brick down. So let's see if we can get a bunch of this done today. That would be sweet. Let's actually just water bucket ourselves up. It's a little faster. I hope this doesn't destroy all my... Oh, it's going to destroy my crops, isn't it? Oh, no. Yes. All right. We made it. We're okay. And did I pick up the lever or is it down there? It's down there. That's fine. 
I don't I don't really care. I don't need it. I really don't. Alright, so let's take this and see how much we can expand our little base here. Hopefully we can hopefully we can tidy this up nicely. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to use um, how many blocks? I'll, I'll try and use all of this. That's a good chunk. That should be a good little distance. So let's do that. And go out. Ugh, the only thing that's annoying is, you know what, I'm gonna try and do it like this. This might be quicker. And then I can do it in threes from over here. Rapid fire it. Yeah, this is the best way to do it. I'll go out by three, and then rapid fire. Heck yes. Because otherwise it just seems so tedious. I want to do it quicker. Oh no, misplacement. A misplacement already. I'm already done with one stack. Holy smokes, we're gonna be out of this before we know it. That's fine though. Ugh, two misplacements. It's alright, mine away. There we go. And in the meantime, before I even started recording, I had set up my furnaces to cook more uh, clean stone for us so we can make more of these bricks. All right, we can be about that brick life and have our base looking swagtastic. All right, keep this going. Keep her going. And we have 25 more, 20 more. I think we can afford one more line, so I'm just gonna do a full line. And that's actually not bad. This is a pretty decent platform to work with. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my grass and uh, actually, I should just use dirt. I shouldn't waste grass on this if I'm going to dig it up after, anyways. Yeah. So let's let's go over to our furnaces. Let's see if we can just make a better way up here, though. That's what I'm going to need too. Is a is a casual way up. Right now, I don't have any. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to get rid of that, and I'll put Matt's weird lever his lever contraptions back. Don't really. There we go. Whatevs. There you go. Your levers can be happy. Do their thing, and I think what I'm gonna do is, yep, these furnaces are done cooking, beautiful. Let's grab all of this, convert it into our stones. There we go, a bunch more of those. And the other thing I want to do is get some ladders. So how are ladders made? I think it's just sticks. Oh, did not want buttons, dang it. Let me just make sure it's just sticks before I go too crazy. It is still just sticks, all right. Um, hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more sticks though, so let's convert all those to sticks. And there we go. That's a plenty amount of ladders. I don't need any more than that. And this will be our way up. We'll put them here like that. And eventually I'll just build that up taller and taller. And I'll do the same on the other side so it's even. All right. Build this up. This lever's got to go. Sorry, bud. And yeah, that's going to have to go too. So sorry, so sorry. Because eventually this is going to be many, many levels up. So we're going to have a tower of farms here. Vic Towers is not going to look impressive when you see Mitch's farm towers. The Benja Farms. It's going to be great. But we're, we're quite a ways off of that. But we'll be there one day. It's going to take some time and energy. But we can do it if we just believe. All right. I want to also save up some cash. So what I'm planning on doing is learning the ways of the Choco. So I don't know if you know this. But if I do top balance, if that's the command, or bal top, Choco... Is the richest player with almost a million. He has 820,000. And it's because he has some crazy farm herblore strats where he farms carrots and potatoes and then trades them to villagers and, uh, for emeralds and then sells the emeralds to the game. So he makes a ton of cash like that. And I don't know if I want to be on his level, but I at least want to get a little bit of understanding because I feel like I'm a big noob at Minecraft when I do these vanilla things. I just don't know that much. I don't know much about villagers, about farms, about MCMMO, which I want to learn about too because of our faction stuff. There's so many things that I want to learn about that I haven't had the chance to, and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm missing out. So I want to make sure that I do that. Um, yeah. So and actually, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna get rid of these guys because I don't want to. I don't want to cover this up. It's too nice. It's too nice. This is gonna be like the sacred zone. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go near this. Instead, I will build like a weird magnifying glass around it. And I'm going to put nothing for now. I think eventually I might just raise the water level. I might do that at some point. But for now, I'm just going to build a little ring because why not? I've got lots of blocks and I want to do it. So no one's going to stop me. Who's going to tell me no, huh? There's nobody on but me. So no one can say a word. All right, let's finish building this out. And then I should cover it up with dirt. And I think end the episode by creating a wheat farming zone up here. Because this is going to be the wheat level, I think. I think, I think this will be the wheat level, because I think wheat is decently valuable because I can make bread for one, and for two, I think there's some villagers that trade it. And I know a lot of people on the server want to get some cool bread farms with automated villagers tending to them. So I want to be one of the first to have a really epic one in their base. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. So there we go, that is good enough. 
Uh, how much dirt do we have? We have we have a good amount actually. So we'll try and cover this up. Let's start. Let's start right here. In case I want to move, I don't have to waste too much time. So we'll, yeah, we'll start the dirt here. There we go. And we'll just do a big rectangle from here. I'm going to ignore the front for now because I might want to use that for something else. I don't know yet, but for now, this is tons of space for some for some wheat for sure. And it's always open to expansion. Don't worry. I'm not going to put walls up yet. I'll put walls when I know it's uh, when I know it's good because I'm going to have to do some research for sure. I'm going to have to do a ton of research on farms because like I said, I am a noob and I apologize for my lack of knowledge when it comes to stuff like this. I am very eager to learn though. So if you have any suggestions of uh, ways to do this, please let me know in the comments or if you have tutorials or people that you watch that you think would be helpful for me to check out, let me know in the comments as well and I'll definitely be giving those a, uh, a look soon because I want to make awesome, awesome automated farms and this level, like I said, is going to be the wheat one. So let's see how much dirt we have. Ow! Ow, I've been put... Ow, stop! Why is there a witch? What the heck? Who put a witch up here? Kill it. What the heck? Honestly, where did that come from? I'm seriously confused. I'm poisoned. I'm going to drop to half a heart if I'm not careful. Do I have any milk? Milk buckets. Actually, though, where the heck did that come from? That is absurd. Can it spawn here? Because I... I'm so confused. Where did that witch come from? That is terrifying. Who put a witch in my base? I feel like somebody did that. I feel like this is a sick prank. I'm so confused. Where on earth did that witch come from? I need more torches down here, maybe. That still doesn't doesn't create any less confusion. What just happened? <laughs> I got attacked by a random witch in my own house? Not okay. Absolutely not okay. Never again. Never again, please. I need to get some more torches big time and light this up. That's what I'm gonna need. I need to get some fence posts and create some little uh, little lamp posts with it. I wanna do that, get some glowstone too, that'd be sick. Uh, let's see, torches, torches, torches. Torches, please. Yes, two more. I need a lot more than two. Um, torches, one more. Gosh, why am I finding all these random single torches? Why do I do that? There's gotta be a chest with a ton of torches here somewhere. Nope, none there. None there. Two more again, are you serious? I have no torches? What the heck am I doing with my life? Alright, let's craft at least eight more. There we go. We have 13. Jeez, that's... Oh, God, don't flood. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, I put it back on accident. Get away. You're ruining my base. You're ruining everything. Why? Alright. Torch here. Torch here. And we'll do one there. And one there. One here for now, and boom, boom, boom. That should cover it. If I get any mob spawning here, I'm gonna be really annoyed, but this this should cover it for now as far as lighting goes. Uh, I'm gonna need to farm more seeds. So I'm kind of debating right now if I should, whatchamacallit, if I should farm these to get seeds with my bone meal or if I should just go and slap regular grass somewhere randomly in the wilderness. I think hitting the grass is probably the easier option to be completely honest. Wow, where's this melon stock? Please grow, Mr. Melon. I don't know which is which, this sucks. I have a feeling one of these is the melon and it takes longer to grow and it probably doesn't have room to grow anymore because of all these pumpkins. Well, that's definitely a pumpkin. Definitely a pumpkin, definitely a pumpkin. Okay, I got the, that was the no, that was a pumpkin. Which one's the melon? Pumpkin, pumpkin. I'm just gonna get rid of my pumpkins now. Give the melon all the room it could ever need. All right, all right, all right. And I can always replant pumpkins. They're really easy. Don't you worry. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. And hopefully our melon will grow at some point soon. It's hiding here somewhere. I don't know which one it is, but I know it's here somewhere. All right, let's plant another seed down. Let those grow naturally. And let's see right about here what we got in our chest. Uh, do we have any more regular seeds to start our farm? Lots of grass. I'm not seeing any seeds, which is okay. I think what I'll do between this episode and the next one is go and chop up and collect a ton and ton of seeds and do a tiny bit of research on farms so that I can uh, make that nicer. And the other thing I'm going to do is collect more building blocks so that I can create more levels. And I'll also decide on how big I want this to be, which will be part of my research of figuring out farms and what's the most effective. 
and efficient because we're going for hashtag efficiency so that we can get that Choco rich man swag at some point. Um, so yeah, we'll figure out how big we need to make this and how we should section it off and you know where we should bring the villager so that they can auto farm, etc, etc. We'll figure that out between now and the next one. So definitely show some love. Click that like button. Let's go for at least 10,000 likes. It's been a while since we've hit that on How to Minecraft. And it would make me feel awesome if we could do that. Because I feel like we accomplished quite a bit. Our base has been very nicely expanded. We got the farm down there. Our weird little water temple. And uh, we actually moved our wolves up too. I don't know if you remember. They were on the cobblestone before. But now they're free. And um, yeah, we got this other level up here prepped and ready for wheat farming when we, uh, when we come back. And I also want to take note that... Rob, I think I mentioned this in my previous episode of How to Minecraft, but Rob collected his gear. He got it back. So no hate. It's all love here on the server. And also the goods that uh, are for Jerome, as you saw at the beginning of the episode. I might have stolen something on accident. I don't know what else Choco gave. I really don't remember, and I'm sorry. I could look at my old episode, but tried to go from memory. And Jerome and I, we share everything anyway. So eventually, if he finds it in one of my chests, he can just use it. Uh, but here are his Baka's tools. And I also added the legendary axe for good measure. To make up for it, it's an extra peace offering, all right? I'm sorry for stealing his stuff and using it to my advantage. But I did need it. I needed it for the grass, and I needed that pickaxe to get those bonus diamonds, which was hype. And yeah, other than that, I will talk to you later. Love you long time. Take care. Have a great weekend. Well, I hope you did. And I hope I met a lot of you at ArcadiaCon. That would have been awesome. And if you didn't make it, don't worry. There's definitely lots of cool vlogs and uh, things to follow. So that is it. I will see you all next time. This commentary is game over. Hope you had a good one, and take it easy. Bye-bye. Love ya.